All right, guys, before the video starts, if you're tired of grinding your badges, you made a new player and you don't want to grind the badges for them, go ahead and hit up TW Badges on Twitter. The link will be in the description. They'll grind out all your badges for you on your player. Right now, the reservations are $75. They'll put you in front of everybody on the spot. It'll put you up there right away so they can grind out your badges. If you use code Dignify at checkout as well, you'll get 20% off your first grinded player. But anyways, like I said, the link will be in the description. Go ahead and enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dignify TW man, and we are back with another video. Now guys, today I'm going to be going over how to speed boost in the post. I did this move one time in my last video, and a lot of you guys are asking me how I did it. I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you guys. Very simple. You guys can see I have the controller cam going on, so if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, you guys can look in the bottom left. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, guys, so this move is very simple. I'm going to go over the basics of it first, how to do the speed boost itself, and then I'm going to go over a few of the combos that I've found that are very good. Now, first, what you want to do, you guys can see I'm posted up on the right side of the court. I'm holding down my left analog or my left trigger. Now, what you want to do is basically you're just moving your left analog stick in the direction you want to go. So you can see I'm going to go to the left side of the court. And right when I go to the left side of the court, guys, I'm letting go of left, left trigger and I'm going to hold down to right trigger for a turbo. And I'll get a nice little speed boost animation just like this. You guys can see how fast it is. Look at that right there. Very fast animation. Now, what a lot of people like to do with this, you guys can see I'm on the left side of the court right now. A lot of people like to go back to like where they think they're going to back down to, like right here if I'm going back towards the three-point line. And then they're going to do that move, so they kind of get their defender off guard just like that. And now a lot of other people, this is another very good combo like right here, guys. Like I said, if you play on the one-on-one court, you guys seen people do this combo all the time. But what they're end up going to do is they're going to be on the right side of the court or something like this, and they're going to take advantage of the baseline. So they're going to go right here, back their way down towards like, you know, the three-point line a little bit. And then they're going to go to the baseline and do this move. It's very quick. And you guys see how fast that dunk ends up being. Extremely hard to guard. You know, it's very easy to do. You go back to the three-point line, go baseline, get a quick dunk. And it's very cheesy and it's very successful. Now I'm going to go over a couple of these combos that you guys can combo this move with. Include different post moves. I feel like that's a little bit less cheesy and it's very effective, especially if you do it a few times. So let's go ahead and get right into the advanced moves. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go over a couple of the advanced moves that I found out. Now, if you're posted up on the right side of the court right here, the ball is in my left hand. To do a quick post spin instead of rotating your right analog stick, all you need to do is flip your left analog stick in the direction that you do not have your ball in. So it's in my left hand, so I'm gonna flick it to the right. And I get a very quick move right here and I'm canceling out with posting back up. You guys can see how fast this is. And you can combo this move to that post spin, go baseline, and dunk the ball. It's very cheesy, guys. I'm telling you, if you don't understand what I'm doing, go ahead and look at the controller cam. All you're doing, like I said, is you're switching your left analog stick and you're canceling out with the post move. And then you can kind of combo it, do that. You can do hop shots out of it. You can fade out of it. Now, one of the fades that I love doing with this move, guys, if I'm going to the, like, the baseline right here, I'm doing this move, going to the baseline, do my speed boost, cancel with that, and fade away. Very successful move. I found out this creates a ton of space. And if you're around that free throw line, mid-range area, you're greening it pretty much every single time. But if you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys have any more questions about this move, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. But anyways, guys, I've been Dignified. I'm out. If you're new, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.